Hello, welcome to Kimball's Corner, or kind of like on the couch with Kimball. I, what? It could be a new series. I doubt it's gonna happen. I seriously, why do I look over? Maybe it's because I'm looking at the screen and it just looks like my eyes are looking off into nothing. I don't know, it doesn't look right. I need to look over there. It's a subtle difference, but it's a difference. Anyway, I was just sitting here watching two broke girls, Kat Dennings, Beth Bears, gotta love them. Um, that's like one of the few shows that I can binge watch. As I was watching it, I've been doing lots of drawing. Why? I don't know. Um, so I am making, I need to look over there, it's so bizarre. I am so sorry. I am making banana bread right now in the bread machine. Um, it's gonna rise beautifully and then sink to the depths of despair as it always does and that's fine. It still tastes delicious. I've been up since 5.30. I don't know why I'm getting up so early. Like, it's stupid. I usually get up at seven-ish. Oh, it smells good. Is it already baking? Let's take a look. Oh my God, it looks like, <laughs> it looks like banana bread bowl. Oh, let's just, oh my God, it's ridiculous. It is so ridiculous, but it's still tasty. Tripping over myself. I swear I haven't had anything in my coffee. I should make another coffee. You guys, hold on, I'm gonna make another coffee. Hey, you guys. It totally looks like a store. The cup. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be good though, I swear. Oh, that's ridiculous. I have way too much fun. Too much fun, too much free time, too much coffee. I feel like I'm totally hyped up on sugar and jittery and stuff, so this ought to help. Spoiling myself with myself. There's only one of me. Spoiling myself with two ice cubes. Oh, the gloriousness of it all. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll put my hand in front of the screen and now I can't look at myself. I wanna look at myself. Whatever. Uh, so I'm thinking today we can, uh, let's see, what, what's going on today? I've got banana bread, banana bread, uh, baking. It smells really good, that's all that matters. I did swap my bedding back because I wanted to wash the other bedding. And then I'm leaving it off until Rocky gets home so that way he can have a nice fresh bed to sleep in. Um, I could do some artwork. You want to, you want to do some artwork? Because really I have anything else. I'm not going to turn on... I don't want to hit my coffee. I don't want to turn on, oh my God, that thing because it's loud. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with the audio because I was watching the first vlog that I did, learning as I go, and I had music playing in the background the entire time and I can hear it loud and clear on the computer as I'm editing and then when I watched it and like finished the whole video and everything and then I uploaded it to YouTube and watched it on the TV to see if it like uploaded correctly. I can't hear the music at all on my TV, but I hear this like ding in the background, which is part of the song. So if you hear dinging throughout the whole video, that's the song. So I need to figure out the levels on that. Maybe I'll use headphones, I don't know. Um, I don't have all the high tech fancy things that a lot of YouTubers have. Cause I'm just, <laughs> I'm not an influencer. I'm just a Kimballer. So yeah, maybe I will look at the camera and draw something. There's noises coming from outside. Uh, I'm also, I should be getting cocoa floss today. If you don't know what cocoa floss is, well, let me tell you about it. It's new to me, but my dentist, well, my oral hygienist just told me about it because I was, I'm on the way to getting two little tiny cavities back here, which I'm gonna get them just taken care of before they actually become cavities. It's because my teeth are really, really tight back there and the floss breaks all the time. So she told me about cocoa floss. So that should be arriving today. And you guys, I hate mint. Well, I don't hate mint, but I don't like that like toothpaste and like breath things and floss and all that stuff. It tastes like mint or peppermint. I think it's disgusting. I don't know why, but like mint flavored ice cream stuff is good. Cocoa floss has multiple flavors. So I'm getting it with, I think it was the Neapolitan. So it's chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Uh, yum, yes, please, thank you more. So I'll let you guys know how that is. Might be, might be really disgusting, might be amazing, I'm not sure. <sighs> Maybe I'll set up some art stuff and we can art together on the couch. On the couch with Kimball. Cause it's just far too much work to go up to like my corner. Why don't I just go upstairs and film? No, cause that's too much like an art video. Yeah. We'll do it cash down here on the sofa, how about that? 
so uh, I will set that up and we can do something. Also, I braved the basement and I did laundry. Yeah, there was a spider in there. I pretended like it wasn't there. I was so like sweaty and shaky by the time I got out of there because like they freak me out. I hate them. I, was, I hate them. Um, so I did have, oh shoot, I can't remember who it was. I posted that, I posted a picture of Wonder Woman that I drew as like a, a little chibi-esque kind of girl. I am not a, I'm not an anime artist or manga artist and I definitely can't do chibi, but I kind of do my own version of it. So let's do that. Let's take a moment here. Let's look for something to draw. All right, so we've got a bajillion images of Jean Grey. I do love her like blue and gold outfit. All right, so Jean Grey 90s. So I'm gonna use this as my reference and I'm just gonna set it off to right here. And it's just referencing the outfit. I'm not gonna, not gonna draw the pose, which I think Jim Lee drew that one from a 90s comic. Well, there's her head. So with the proportions on the smaller bodies, like I like to do, okay, well, my favorite size for drawing is like five heads high. I think that's a cute style, but two or three heads high is like the cuter chibi-esque style. So it's like, there's two heads. So you can draw like the body, you know, that size. And she had, I don't know. I usually just give them all round faces, but if you want, you can kind of square them up or you can do whatever shapes you want for a head. I ain't gonna be mad at you. I think I'm just gonna draw her hands on her hips. So I'm not even gonna give her a neck because, you know, let's be real. If she had a neck, it'd probably snap under the weight of that head. And the whole thing with this style is toning down the details. Well, I didn't draw her hands quite right. As in like, her hands are circles and so are her thumbs. And she doesn't really have a figure. And then you can do, okay, so for the faces, if you want it to be cuter or like more baby-ish, you can bring all the features down lower. You know, and have a really high forehead or whatever. Or you can, or it also looks downturned. Or you just kind of place them a little higher. I mean, she's an adult woman, cute little button nose. And then the face is just simple. You know what? We're gonna go even simpler and we're just gonna do circles. So a little highlight and some lashes. Why not really simplify it? And little eyebrows. And then just a little circle for the nose. And I usually do like little smiley dimple things. Her eyebrows are off, that's fine. We're not trying to perfect anything. I'm gonna define her face a little bit and kind of straighten off these sides. And then she has a mask that comes up. All the women in like the 90s comics have such big, floofy, fantastic hair. Wow, it sounds like my neighbor. I think he's out cleaning his car and it sounds like he's playing like screaming death metal. So that's interesting. I love my neighbors. Rocky and I got really lucky. All right, and then she has like these weird little triangle things. But like I said, you really wanna simplify. Like I'm not gonna draw the details. She has a big circle X belt thing. And I'm pretty sure it's like a thick belt like that. And she has like these pockety pouch things. I'm sure you can fit a lot of stuff in there. And then her feet are just like, it's like she's wearing a onesie. With the outfits, I do like to add a little more detail if I can, like this outfit doesn't really call for a lot of detail. But like when I do, like if I did boots and stuff, that's always fun. I don't mind adding detail to the clothing. Just a little pouchy thingy up here. darken in all this so we actually know she's wearing clothing and she didn't paint lines on her skin and silver cuffs and some lines in her hair and there you go it's a little 
chibi-esque Jean Grey. Ta-da! When I do stuff like this, it's really easy for me to draw myself just because I don't care if it turns out because I won't be offended by it. Like a lot of people ask me to draw them and I just, I've done it in the past and they're like, that doesn't look like me. Change this, change that. And I'm like, you know what? No, okay. We're not gonna play that game. I don't know. It was fun like for a while, like bringing people's ideas to life on the paper, but man, some people were just awful to work with. I don't know why I'm telling you that. I'm just drawing a little doodle of myself. My eye looks crazy. Sounds like red hot chili peppers. I don't know if you guys can actually hear it. Hopefully not, because I don't want to get a copyright strike. Those aren't fun. I'm not even sure what happens with those, but it doesn't sound good, so I don't want one. What am I wearing? I'm wearing my Scooby shirt. And I can't really see Scooby, but you know, or I guess it's Shaggy, but whatever. It's here-ish. What's happening? There's like a circle around him. Yep, that's what it looks like. A little peace sign, because I want world peace. This is a weird side, like height that I'm drawing myself. I'm just, I'm just wearing socks. And then I think these have drawstrings, my little loungy house pants. Also known, also known as everyday wear. So there's like a little three head high dude. One more quick doodle of uh, looking around the room for inspiration. Looking around for inspiration and I didn't see none. Oh, I think the bread's done. Or it's done baking and now it's gonna go into cool down. I was good at drawing flowers. It just seems like a lot of work. I've drawn a few in the past. I could go downstairs and show you. I have a bunch of art stashed away downstairs. It's a cup with stuff in it. All right, let's throw some watercolors on this. All right, pastel dreams. goodness that the coffee is now floating up into and let's make like a gray hopefully gray color or some kind of random shadow atmospherical thing interesting I've never I was mostly wanting to see how this would look working on wet I didn't know it would actually bleed into it so that's neat learning something new and then we'll kind of lighten everything through here, just because it's steamy. Clean that off. Got ourselves a little cup. Let's throw in some really dark color for the background. It's fun to just do random little things like this. A dark purple, why not? Probably gonna bleed into that. And that is okay. And then we'll do a watered down version of this purple with a touch of Blue. Something like that. Art is fun. So we'll probably draw some more later today, but something quick, something easy, something to just get it out of my system. Let's go check that banana bread. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Let's just... Uh... <laughs> 
and I'm just sliding it forward so I can open it. You ready for all of its gloriousness? <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I feel like I want to put vanilla ice cream in that. How good would that be? I don't know why, like, it does not turn out, but it's still delicious. I just have no idea why it sinks so much in the middle. So any tips, because I'm following the recipe to a T. Yeah, if you have any tips as to why that's happening, let me know. It's my kitty cat banana bread. It's not quite a loaf, but it's still tasty. Kitty kitty cat banana bread. Yay, the rainbow speckles. Who doesn't love those? Anyway, oh my god, the loaf of banana bread. Yeah, more like the mound of stuff. Not really feeling much for lunch, so I'm gonna have a coffee, surprise, surprise, and a Quest cookie, because it has like no sugar, and it's like, what, 250 calories or something? Which isn't bad. I'm gonna have to go hop on the treadmill, because, you know, adults, responsibility, Something. Oh, I need to sip this, it's gonna spill. What up, Christina? Sorry I missed church. I was busy practicing witchcraft and becoming a lesbian. Home is where everybody notices that weird smell but you. So I worked a little bit on this. Nothing too fancy, I just brought out a colored pencil and a little more watercolor and a couple of the uh, JD Daughters, what are they called, Ladybug Daughters, for a little hmm in the background. But it's fun, it's cute. I might do like another little thing down there. Uh, I am waiting for my Coco Floss to arrive and I'm watching Two Bro Girls. Not the most flattering <laughs> shot of Cat Dennings, but oh, I love it. Just thought I'd give you a really quick update. I'll see you guys later. Yes, it's official. The Neapolitan Trio with three scoops, pure strawberries, vanilla bean, and dark chocolate floss has arrived. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm digging the flashiness of it all. Came with a little, I think it's a sticker. I haven't attempted to unstick it yet. And philosophy. Have not looked through that yet, but you know, I'm sure I'll uh, enjoy that later. So, let's just, oh, let's just get really comfortable on the sofa, shall we? And we're gonna do a little flip. Hi guys. You are uh, officially resting on my drawing pillow. Never mind this, never mind. We'll just suck it up. Ooh, I have an abs apple when I do that. Uh, uh. We're gonna try the strawberry. I'm not gonna actually floss my teeth in front of you guys, cause like, ew. It has little somethings on it, but it's not slick, so you can, it's got a nice grip. Little cap to uh, uncap it. Doesn't really smell like anything. Just want to, Take off a tiny bit. So either the end isn't flaw or the end isn't flavored, or it just doesn't taste like anything. Uh, all right. Well, that one was like it didn't really smell like anything either. So fingers crossed, it gets better. I can definitely smell the vanilla. Like a fine wine. Hmm. Nothing. I'm really hoping that the uh, tips aren't flavored, but maybe it's a bust. And this one definitely has a stronger smell. Chocolate. Yes. Yeah, me. I personally am a vanilla person, but wow, that's really strong in a good way. It's not like overpowering and it smells really chocolatey. Didn't really have any flavor on that either. So maybe they aren't flavored. Maybe they're just scented. I don't know. I will uh, floss with the vanilla tonight and give you a more in-depth rundown of it. But they do get points for the packaging. But I mean, if it's like advertising that it tastes and smells delicious and it doesn't, ah, packaging can only go so far. So that's uh, that's the uh, floss for now. So basically my other floss, I think I just told you, like my teeth in the back are really tight, so it was, Breaking, so this floss is supposed to be really good. We'll see. I, uh, what else is going on? Finished my cookie and my coffee. Uh, it will probably make dinner soonish. I have no idea what time it is. Yeah, I'm not sure what's for dinner. I think it's 
some kind of meatball thing. I don't want to do burgers. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Oh, and I showered because I think as a responsible adult, a little responsible adult, during these times of quarantine, you should shower at least once a week. Just kidding, you can shower whenever you want. All right, you guys, I will uh, talk to you later and let you know what's going on. All right, so uh, for dinner tonight, I'm going to have some Thai coconut pork meatballs, courtesy Hello Fresh, hello. So I will get this going. All right, we got a fresh stick of butter. Got the rice rinsed and ready to go. Bring some coconut milk with water and butter and sugar and salt to a boil. And then I'm gonna stir in the rice. And then over here, we've got some green beans that I'll come to play later. Um, but I'm going to mix the ground pork, minced ginger, minced whites of the green onions, and some, uh, some something else over here, ground pork, whatever. I'm gonna make some meatballs. It's gonna be great. All right, so after all that, we've got the meatballs and the coconut sauce, some green beans. Meatballs were there, now they're there. And we've got the lime and uh, some uh, leftover green sprinkly sprinkles. Sprinkle on top and there's dinner. Uh, yum, I'm gonna eat it now, okay, bye. Oh my gosh, dinner was delicious. Did up most of the dishes, waiting for that pot right there to cool so I can put it in the fridge and have leftovers for tomorrow. Probably lunch and dinner tomorrow. Hmm, a little bit goes a long way. <gasps> Did you see up there? Yay! Just relaxing, watching little Carrie Cakes do uh, some tourist, touristy stuff in Seoul while I munch on my Annie's toaster pastry, cause delicious. Um, I'm gonna draw in a little bit and maybe we'll talk about doing a live YouTube. Maybe I'll get back to you with that. All right, you guys, so I just did a little uh, pen doodle with a ballpoint pen and I'm just gonna add some watercolors to it while I chat. I was thinking about doing a live YouTube. I don't know if anyone would be interested and I'm not sure how I would go about doing it because really I have a phone and an iPad and an okay speed internet. So I'm not sure if I would be able to pull it off. It might be like just garbage. So I'm kind of just throwing a warning out there like if I do it, it may not be great, but it could still be fun. It would be nice to like chat with you guys while I'm working get some ideas, you know, that kind of thing. I'm wanting to give her some really dark eye makeup. Kind of merge it around. Um, but yeah, nothing too dramatic. No, no big thrills or anything. I just, I don't know. I think it would be fun. If you guys are interested, let me know and I will see if I can figure something out. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Yeah, I finished my delicious toaster pastry. Finished watching Carrie Cakes in Seoul, Korea. I wanna go to Korea, or well, I wanna go to South Korea. And I love big cities, but I also love that Seoul has lots of nature surrounding it. I loved it when I had that in Portland. We had the city right there. And then we had the mountains and stuff that basically border up to the city. And those were some of like the nicest hiking paths. I miss hiking there, but like the rents have skyrocketed. And well, I don't know, we don't really rent, but the, uh, the price to live there has skyrocketed. Rocky and I were like, yeah, we probably won't ever move back as much as we loved Portland. It's kind of like, we did it. It was fun. Now we're on the East Coast, I gotta check this stuff out. I mean, if you know me, you know I love New York. And it's really bizarre, because we used to go like at least one weekend a month. And it has been so long since we've gone. It's really weird. I'm just laying colors down. No rhyme or reason. 
I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's so funny, I have like so much stuff I wanna talk about and I just never remember when the camera turns on. This would also be a good reason to do live. We could actually chat and I wouldn't have to think of something to say all the time because I am a very, I'm very much so an introvert. I'm very quiet. So even just doing Kimball's Corner was like a huge thing for me because I just don't talk. <laughs> and also doing art and trying to chat, that's a skill into itself. I'm like, how do people do that? I am putting so much water on this paper that is not watercolor paper. But basically my whole thing was I just wanted to do something that involved you guys more. So we could kind of hang out, but I just, I don't know when I would do it. I'm sure I could come up with like a set time. But I also want to see if you guys were actually interested in something like that. Cause if you're not, I'm not going to do it. But if you are, I will try and figure something out so that I can like read comments and stuff while I'm working and, you know, try and actually interact with you guys because that's kind of the whole point. And it might be nice, like if some of you are just stuck at home with no one to chat with, like it might be nice to have someone to chat along with, do some art with. So I think that's done, whatever that is. It was fun for me. Things to talk about. I got nothing. I, I know there are so many things that I make lists. Well, no, actually I don't make lists. I should make lists to have stuff to talk about. But anyway, uh, yep, so we're done with that. Let's see. Yeah, it didn't bleed through too badly. Mostly just where the ink was, but that has to dry before I close it up. Um, yeah, thanks for arting with me. Uh, not much else is gonna happen tonight. Not much else is going to happen tonight. That is another thing I need to work on is I mumble a lot and I'm really sorry about that. I've gotten really lazy with the way I speak because Rocky understands me. <laughs> so I can just mumble and he gets it. Um, but that is not a good habit to have. So I'm trying to break that and be a little more articulate. Uh, for the rest of the evening though, I maybe I'll play some video games. I should start cleaning up. He's gonna be home Saturday evening. Not that that means anything to you because I haven't given the dates because I'm not sure when this video is going up. It doesn't really matter. It's just a day in the life of little bits and pieces of my life. But I am going to take this off. So yes, I think Saturday I'm going to clean the house real good. Uh, just because, I mean, it's messy anyway and I need to clean it, but I don't wanna have to clean it and then clean it again. But I do like Rocky to have a really, really clean house when he comes home. Um, when he was doing home tour for Ikea, like I would scrub the house before I, I would fly out to visit him and then he would fly home sometimes. If you guys don't know what Ikea home tour was, he basically traveled the country um, doing makeover, like mini makeovers for people. Uh, so that was very cool. So it was a fun time. If uh, you were part of the Jane Davenport group a couple years ago, you may remember the hotel bowl that I, that I used in like all of my illustrations. So I always used like a circle and then did like an illustration with it. I cleaned the kitchen. I got to try out that floss. I know, lots to do. And that's about it. So I will end the vlog for now. Basically, I'm just gonna do the flossing and let you guys know about that. And that's about it. So I will see you when that time comes. And I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely night, day, time, whatever. I'm not sure where you're at. Okay, bye. All right, so cocoa floss. Um, it smells really good. The vanilla does anyway. I don't think it actually has any taste. Or at least I couldn't taste anything, but I do use like bubble gum toothpaste. So, you know, quality. I'm an adult, I can get what I want. Uh, it was good though, it kinda, the threads, it kinda split apart in my mouth, but it definitely didn't break, which was nice. 
so I will keep using it. I think it's a little more, uh, like fibrous, I guess. I don't know what the word is, but it like cleans better. It feels like it does anyway. So yeah, I will continue to use it. I mean, I have three packs of the stuff, so why not? And uh, maybe if I remember, you know, a year from now when I get through it all, I will do another review of it. As of right now, uh, it's okay. The smell is what's winning me over and that it cleans a little bit better, but it's thicker and rougher. So it's a little hard to get into the teeth, but I like it. Hi, I'm gonna go to bed because I guess I'm not really going to bed. I'm gonna play my word games. Light from Grandma June, cause she's awesome. So yeah, I will, uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to play my little unscramble word game until I fall asleep. Take care you guys. Thanks for joining me on another little vlog and I will see you again sometime when I'm feeling like vlogging. I'm still looking over there. I'm still looking over there. The red square stop button, it's hypnotizing, I tell ya. All right, you guys, take care, stay healthy, and uh, I'll see you at Kimball's Corner. Goodbye. Okay,